member of Navy and Marine Corps, Air Force and Army participants. Nearly 7,000 never returned and perished on the black sand of Iwo Jima. I'll, I'll say 7,000. The entire population of NOCWD and the Naval Weapons Center approaches 5,000. That's military, civilian, and contractor. What did come back was a snapshot of history, that famous photograph of Bradley and five other young soldiers raising America's colors on a foreign battlefield. It was a picture of United States servicemen reaching, grabbing, and holding tight to freedom and not letting go. Last night was a significant event in Ridge Crest uh, as well. When we look at those that are willing to raise their hand, stand up and be counted, and make a difference, and go into harm's way, we had, and uh, I'll apologize first off, because uh, we have many veterans, many heroes, many uh, prior servicemen and women in the audience, but I'd like to just highlight one individual. And last night, uh, Lance Corporal Gallagher arrived at Ridgecrest Airport. He wasn't at Iwo Jima, but he could have been. He returned from Iraq. His parents didn't live through that period, but they could have. And the sacrifice, the dedication, the service is the same. We have young men and women tonight but really, Iraq and Afghanistan time, it is uh, early in the morning. that are mounting up on Humvees, pre-flighting aircraft, launching off the decks of aircraft carriers to provide an opportunity for the Iraqi people to be free. We also have uh, sailors and Marines in Afghanistan. We have uh, Marines in the Horn of Africa, on the Marine Corps side, almost 30,000 tonight are deployed worldwide, defending our freedom and giving others a chance for that freedom. So when Lance Corporal Gallagher returned last night, he saw his infant daughter for the first time, who is five months old. And when you look at that type of service, sacrifice, and dedication, everyone in this audience participates and has contributed to that. The mothers, the fathers, the sons, the brothers. The, uh, the organizations, the Red Cross, the Salvation Army, our school teachers, our firemen and our policemen. And it is uh, the American spirit uh, that enables young men and women to go in harm's way for not only our freedom, uh, but for others. Uh, I'd like to also thank all the members of the um, Ridgecrest community, the Weapons Center, uh, anything today that is used in theater, uh, if it's either on an aircraft, a weapon, a missile, a bomb, it was either designed, developed, or tested right here at Ridgecrest. And the entire community has contributed to that successful uh, endeavor. So uh, in keeping with that, I'm, uh, I'm humbled to be here in front of the, the real heroes, uh, which are really the American people. I'd like to acknowledge our veterans uh, in the audience that have served, and I'd like to uh, thank uh, the community of Ridgecrest uh, for the tremendous support and the uh, young men and women we have uh, today. Semper Fi.